Bring in Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. Right now we are tracking the tropics and Bobby, a new system that developed here today. Yeah, we've got Tropical Depression 7. First, let me, I want to back all the way out here because don't worry about this one right now, right? But we are going to be watching it. This thing right now is over 2,000 miles away from Tampa, okay? It's over 700 miles from the Northeast Leeward Islands. However, by Friday afternoon, Friday night, they'll be getting some pretty heavy rain, three to five inches, upwards of eight inches possible. And you can see it's still 700 miles away. Winds right now are at 35 miles per hour. Quite a burst of convection that we've seen over the last several hours. In fact, most of today, it was a 40% chance of developing in the next five days last night. 70% this morning, and they named it 11 o'clock. Here's the track from the Hurricane Center. The track takes it right over the islands. It's fighting shear in different locations as it moves all along this track. So they're going 45 mile per hour winds. We're likely to get Tropical Storm Fiona later tonight or first thing tomorrow morning. But then look at this curve near the end. If you're pessimist, you're thinking, oh, it's coming to Florida. Most of the modeling is suggesting that it wants to recurve. This is not showing it, but if you look at the GFS ensembles, it's kind of similar with the European, but you see a lot of them recurving it. The Hurricane Center is kind of leaning toward this. We still have to watch it. This is a ways out at this particular time, but certainly if you've got interest in the islands, including Puerto Rico and Hispaniola, Puerto Rico by Saturday, Hispaniola Sunday night into Monday.